Welcome to the Superbook Show and another Bizarre Bible Bite. Hey, I've got a question for you, but it's just between us, okay? Have you ever been to church and just got bored? I know the right answer is, of course not. Everything about church is exciting and lovely and could never be boring. But honestly, ever been bored? or at least so tired you couldn't concentrate? I thought so. How about so tired that you die? I don't mean figuratively, like, oh, I'm so sleepy, I wish I was dead. But literally, you were so sleepy that it killed you. No? Well, have I got a story for you. This is from the book of Acts, which was written by a doctor named Luke. This tidbit becomes important later on. St. Paul was visiting a city called Troas, had a lovely visit, spent about a week. The night before he left, they decided to have a meal together, and maybe Paul would say a little something something. Well, he gets into it, and a little something something becomes a lot of thing a lot of thing. You see, Paul knew he was leaving the next day and wanted to say everything he hadn't gotten around to saying all week long. So he goes on and 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 on. It's well past dark now. The lights are flickering, it's a crowded room, and we're coming up on midnight. Paul's still going, like the Energizer Bunny. We haven't even eaten yet. So there's this kid named Eutychus there, and he finds himself a comfortable spot sitting in the window. Maybe the breeze will keep him awake. He's trying to pay attention, listens to Paul, who clearly needed a new watch because he is a pastor with no sense of time. Eutychus sees the lights flickering, it's hot, and there's this drone, and it's late, and then he falls asleep. Which is cool and totally understandable, except remember, he's sitting in a window. So when Eutychus falls asleep, he falls out of the window. Oh, and I forgot to mention, they're on the third floor. Everyone runs down to the street to, you know, see what's what. And remember how I said the story was written by a doctor? Well, the doctor said, Eutychus was dead. That's right. Killed by falling asleep while listening to a really, really long sermon. Fortunately, the story doesn't end there. Paul wakes up and is like, no worries, peeps. He's alive. Maybe he doesn't say peeps. That's subject to translation. Anyway, Paul was right. Eutychus was dead. But when he lifted him up, he was alive. A miracle! Yes! So, what do the people do to celebrate? They go back upstairs, listen to Paul talk some more. Well, first they eat, and then they listen to Paul talk until the dawn. Eutychus, we can all assume, found a seat very far from all of the windows. So, what's our takeaway in all this? First, if you get sleepy in church, don't get too down on yourself. It's okay, just don't sit in a window. Second, church is exciting. If you fall asleep, you can miss a miracle or end up having to become the miracle. Third, did I forget to mention don't sit in a window? His word is forever alive. Want to find more bizarre, exciting, cool things? You can read them for yourself. Download our free Superbook Bible app and start reading. Let us know your favorite Bible stories in the comments below. And as always, like, subscribe, and tell a friend or two about the Superbook show. Until next time. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I've been through a window before. It was the first story, and I fell right through. It was very scary for a six-year-old. It felt like years of falling. But it was okay, because I'm okay.
because it was just the first story, not the third. Like, Uticus.